Welcome in, friends, to the first ever banana ball game played in a Major League Baseball stadium. Minute Maid Park is rocking and rolling with over 41,000 Bananiacs and Party Animals faithful fired up for what will be the biggest game in our young sports history. The home of the Houston Astros is officially yellow and pink as both squads do all they can to capture a momentous victory. At the center of the diamond, Ryan Kellogg. What a story it is for him. Seven years of minor league baseball experience. Now he gets to start in an MLB park. Another life for Jake Skoll. He's been the best hitter for the party animals this year. And he cranks that one into right center. Fisher's trying to go first to third. Meadows has a great arm. The play not in time. Randy Voss, the third base umpire with an emphatic safe call. We'll see if we get a fan challenge just three batters into this banana ball game and the fans have wasted no time using this challenge here tonight. And I think they believe Noah Fisher is out at third base. We have the board as well. The fans want out. Of course they do. Their fan representative speaks for over 41,000 who would love to see this overturned. It does they look like him. he's the out. The call is overturned. Yeah, we'll flip it. The ruling on the field is the first challenge in a major league ballpark. The doctor is not only good at trick plays, he's a good defensive center fielder in general. As Eric Jones Jr. collects the first trick play in a major league baseball stadium. The magnificent Sean Fluke. And he has become one of the faces and aces of this party animals team. And it looks like DR and company suiting up for a special trip up to home plate. Let's see what they've got in store for us. Four straight bad ones from Fluky. The inning winning run aboard. World Series champion with your Houston Astros. Give it up for Josh Reddick. Savannah, Georgia, born and raised, does have a home run. He hit it in his first ever banana ball experience. A sprint for Reddick, keep Meadows at third base. Now the fate of the inning is in the hand, quite possibly the greatest hitter in banana ball history, Dan Obers. He's swinging, smokes it to center, Hampton there, Meadows testing the arm. Throws up the third base line, Obers has his tour leading ninth walk off of the year. And the Bananas draw first blood, they're up a point. And here comes DR Meadows running in, Kellogg tosses him the ball. The doctor jogging in from center to fire an 0-2. He clears Kellogg. Back up the middle, it's a base hit. Meadows just jumped the six foot six Canadian on the bump. Right back at Ryan Kellogg, who really wasn't anticipating a comeback. The Rocket, Roger One of the greatest pitchers in Major League Baseball history in the Rocket. But he's here for banana ball, he's all in. Jason Swan, oh no! Oh my gosh, Swan! No mercy for Roger Clemens! That thing nearly went off the train tracks! Two run bomb! Oh, wow! And the party animals, fans and attendants here in Minute Maid Park have risen to their feet in celebration. It's Jason Swan collecting his second home run of the 2024 World Tour and the first home run by a banana ball player in a major league ballpark. You just hit a home run of a Roger Clemens. What are you thinking right now? On hey. that one. Here's Drake oh, no. Cole with Swanee. I'm out right now. Swan, what just happened? <laughs> hey, he threw a pitch right there. Hey. Swan, that's Roger Clemens. I'm lost the words right now. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Trying to find the zone for a payoff. Tapped back to him. Jumping play, underhand to first. EJ behind the back. And how about the ovation for Roger Clemens as his kids come out to hang with him? We did it, baby. Hey, you got some good run support, huh? Oh, yeah. Now I can just have fun. Danny Hosley now, you guys have a good rivalry going. Oh yeah, watch how fast that quick pitch run. I already have the next five pitches already planned out. Oh, can't hit that. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, on a string. What's next? Three cover. Uh. Oh, see you later. <laughs> you didn't need five bitches, Fluky. Come on, baby, we're back now. And that's a strikeout in less than 15 seconds for Fluke as well. It's the seven-year banana, Kyle Lewix. Guy who started in 2018 on a temporary contract is sauntering out of the bullpen for one of the coolest moments you could ever imagine for a Texas native. And nobody has appeared in more banana ball games in their career on the mound than Kyle Lewix. This will be his 46th banana ball appearance. Led last tour in innings pitched as well as strikeouts. And look at this guy go. Born outside of Dallas, Texas, Cowboy Kyle. And just like that, Thomas off third, Acuff off second. And it is a sprint. And how about that? Celebrating with the table smash right behind home plate. Jackson Olsen with some assistance up to the dish. A flower girl. Make sure the great eight knows how to get to home plate. In front of over 41,000 fans here in Minute We thank you all. Olsen sends this a mile high. It's the Bermuda Triangle and shallow right. Gaston Baber leaping behind the back. What a way to grab his 20th trick play of the tour. Now Ryan Cox. He slaps this one to Bloomer at third, who goes between the legs across the diamond. Second straight point earned for the party animals. They're up two to one. Full we'll count now on Skull. Big change of pace. Scooje is 93 to 95 with the fastball. Swan able to adjust to the bender. Flies it towards DR. Meadows who backflips. Makes the catch. Lands the flip. Come Possibly on. the best backflip we've ever seen from DR Meadows. And it comes on Banana Ball's biggest stage. The Bananas very close to recording their second point of this ball game and nodding the game even once again. Michael Vitamin D, his first year in professional baseball, the Empire League MVP for reasons just like that. Smashes that off the right field wall. Howell scores easily from third, and we are nodded at two points apiece. And it looks like the Bananas, now that they have tied this game in the all-important points category, have discovered a backyard beat. Yes, Jacobo with the backyard beach. Uh. How'd I do there? Spot on, I think. That's right, Josh. I will take that in consideration. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vince, do something cool. There we go. Hey, hey I want to dance with you, Vince. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's get a ground ball right here. Oh, my God. Hang hey. him, and Chase Acuff will bang him. And Cornette will score. Man, Scooche has looked terrific, but these party animals don't miss when you hang a bender. They're taking their clothes off, Miko. What do I do about this? Just act natural. Uh, do I act like I don't see it? Dustin Baber, normally just doing a beer chug out of a regular glass, but when you're in Texas, you've got to do it bigger. He does it out of the glass boot. For sure. How about this walk up from Reese Hampton? This is awesome. This is so party animals and so Texas. We'll see what happens. It's just one of the best hitters in banana oh! ball history. Wow. Oh! What does that guitar do to you, brother? That dumb it. Throw him out. Here we go. Play at the plate. Play at the plate. DR is now three for three on the night on absolute laser beams. What do you think, Bill? That was, he was safe, but that was a sick tag, I will say. That was a very cool tag. The pitch there. Hey! Oh, trick play. Bill, thank you so much. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Well, what do we have going on here? As the Bat Boy makes his first appearance of the night. As this one bounces off of Helton, barehanded by Baber, what a play! It's been a year in the Washington Nationals minor league system. Scolds it straight to Baber, back to first, double play. And the party animals jump back out in front, three points to two. How about Matt Wolf? He has over 20 different trick pitches in his arsenal, and we're sure to see many of them here tonight. Third world tour for Wolfie. 360 chopper. Matt Wolf out there on the mound, who doesn't have the kind of miles per hour in Vila that a lot of these other pitchers have. Sliding stop, Jackson Olsen, flip to first, in time. 
Here's Jesse Cole. Houston Astros Hall of Famer, a Wizard of O's, Roy Oswald. How about this for an entrance? One of the greatest pitchers in Houston Astros history. Roy spent over a decade here calling Minute Maid Park home and was a top five finisher in the Cy Young five different times. And he is arguably the greatest pitcher in Houston Astros history. A man who endeared himself to fans since the minute he debuted in 2001. And man, this place is roaring for him. Comes after the man out of Mandeville, Louisiana with Taj Porter who pinch hits for Bronson Balhoun. Payoff pitch, there goes A Cup. Cut and a miss! Nasty bender from Oswald. Looked like it could have been an Ephus. And he gets a strikeout of Taj Porter. And a standing ovation from the full capacity crowd here in Minute Maid. Here with newly banana Roy Oswald. Talk to me about how that felt, pal. Man, it felt great to be back out there. Uh, just getting out here with all the, the fans and uh, just a I mean, tremendous time. I mean, everybody's having a party. Uh, you know, you got your adrenaline going when you first get out there. And what a the, the crowd's reaction, man. I had to feel special. I'll see that with the World Series. Mr. Lealios, a Saturday night fever delight. This guy was going the entire time that we were listening to Roy Oswald talk about that incredible opportunity. Oh, <laughs> okay. I think, I think Lealios is doing it better than us, but sure, he can give us a little bit of a little bit of this a little bit of that all right let's get back down to the, to the guy who's doing it a lot better than we are there he is pinch hitting for jackie's good buddy ryan cox is our resident bat trickster alex ziggy ziegler 3-0 pitch cranked foul and caught by the fans. A screamer off the bat of Alex Ziegler. One of the tougher balls to catch all night. And it is clutch for the party animals. Clayton, this is the first MLB banana ball game and you just caught that first fan foul ball out. What's going through your mind right now? Um, I was just like, I just put my glove up. I'm pretty excited. Clayton, where are you from? Uh, here, Houston. Clayton, how does it feel to do this and be on the field at Minute Maid Park? Uh, pretty good. And it looks like we have the world's fastest inning on our hands. It's a quick change for the Bananas and Party Animals. Zach Phillips will come in for Roy Oswald. Philly, four years of minor league baseball experience in the Kansas City Royals system. Jordan Hussein getting his first at bat of the tour nearly beats the rap. Cox juggling that ball, gets it over just in time. Hussein was pinch hitting for Baber there. And now Jason Swan, the donut hitter, who has homered off of Roger Clemens, blown into a trick play in center off of Ethan Scooge, and also singled off of Scooge. Now, oh, baby! Freshly inserted into right field, Reese Alexiades has the first trick play of his young banana ball career. And one we've never quite seen in banana ball as well. Just when you think Alexiades couldn't hold on to the ball, it pops into his glove. And how about this for Zach Phillips? That's the fastest inning ever thrown in banana ball history. 55 seconds for Philly. Sexy Mexi, Ryan Rodriguez towing the slab. He has been terrific across two appearances on this tour. Gabe Howell, he goes down swinging, and Sexy Mexi's ripping the split on the bump. Banana ball, cut and a miss. Cutter blown right by him. And Rodriguez is fired up, here's Jesse Cole. tallest hitter, Dakota Stoops opening. The 10 foot nine, Ellaville, Georgia native. Coming up in a big spot here. And Dakota Stilts all Britain able to use his height to his advantage, throwing the ball for a sprint for the Bananas. That's a big A-B. Fans love seeing Stilts. Reese Alexiades with his first A-B of the night. 
There's Flash. He's pinch running, and he's still second. Deming reselects Giannis the chance to get the bananas. A big walk up in this ball game. Payoff just misses the inside corner. Well, it's going to be back to back two out sprints. That win inning for the bananas. They trail four to three. Noah Nisnik's been pretty special in his first banana ball season. 139 against him on the year. There is that devastating changeup, and that is just befuddling party animals. Now this one hit on the first pitch to Ryan Cox, who goes between the legs, collects the 10th trick play of the night between both teams. So capacity crowd on hand for our first ever Major League Baseball stadium. Has seen a point scored in each of the seven innings. We love you so much, Banana Nation. Now let's go, Bananas! Drew Gillespie will be the new man on the bump. He'll face off against Brandon Crosby. Showtime in his rookie campaign. One for one on the night. And will have himself a stand-up double. He's an aggressive base runner, a man with a lot of speed. Here is the Bananas. They're going to try and rally for this quick walk-off. Gillespie. Behind the back, trick play for Drew. But now Brandon Crosby up to third base. Gillespie's going to have to work strategically here against a pesky hitter in Bill Leroy. Infield in, Bill lifts this one out to left. Tanner Thomas attacking. There goes Crosby, the throw home. Not in time. We're tied, four points each. And the Nanners will celebrate with some pots and pans around the dish. Welcome, Houston, Texas, to the final inning! Here is Danny Hosley, one of, if not the best pitcher in banana ball history. Two down, huge pitch coming from Hosley. Hot shot, but Howell's there. And we're going to the bottom of the ninth, tied at four. The bananas need just one run to walk it off and win it here in Minute Maid Park. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready because this is it! Oh, Minute Maid Park, we need your energy. Oh, that's a foul out to a fan. Unbelievable play to retire Ryan Cox. And right next to a Drew Gillespie jersey. Wait a second. I think that's his brother. He reached over the banister and stole that one from the lower level. One of the best catches we've ever seen made by a fan, and he is one of over 41,000 people in Minute Maid Park. Drew Gillespie's brother gets him a huge out in the bottom of the ninth inning in a tied game. Game winning run in scoring position. Now it's imperative that Drew Gillespie throw strikes to Gabe Howell because if he issues the ball for a sprint, this game will result in a bananas victory as Meadows will be able to come around and score. And how about this? Gillespie not even phased. He is getting the fans here in Minute Maid Park on their feet. 2-2. Two -two. Just misses the outside corner. Count runs full. Fouled off. Not caught by the fans. We'll get another payoff pitch. You could cut the tension with a knife here in Houston. Ball four wins the game for the Bananas. There it is. Howell works the sprint. And the Savannah Bananas win the first ever banana ball game in a Major League Baseball stadium, five to four. In this back and forth contest, 41,000 fans here in Minute Maid Park watch the Bananas rally to steal a victory from the party animals, and one that we will never forget. Bananas with a well-earned victory celebration. If you like that video, you can check out more right here. And if you want to watch a full game, click over here. And if you like all this stuff, like and subscribe. But the full game is still over here. Correct, but we've got more videos right up here. I mean, the full game's pretty cool over here. See you later!